So they got me a place. They called a housing where um, a rooming house lady that rents rooms in a house. I ended up going to see the place that night on the application night. And then within two days, I ended up paying rent. So I was serious about getting my place. I do have a cell phone. I also have an email that you could possibly contact me at if you need to help me with any further stuff like maybe groceries, clothes. Uh, I could, uh, if you don't feel like giving me any money, you could give me gift cards. Uh, contact information is Shane, S-H-A-N-E, G-R-O-V-E-S, 7474 at gmail.com if you'd like to contact me or my Facebook account is Shane Groves. Uh, my timeline, uh, my Facebook profile picture is of me wearing the hat. Um, uh, I would like the community to have a little bit more trust in homeless people or people that are living on the streets or youth at risk and maybe get more involved with the community on trying to figure out what's actually needing help. Uh, I know it's stressful on your day's work that you work and you got a husband, kids, so forth, mortgage, house, car, and the list goes on. And you're having a hard time paying your own stuff. Well, it doesn't hurt to maybe on a lunch period, maybe talk to somebody that's close to your work area and then maybe bring them in for lunch. You get to talk to the person and get to know the person and maybe you can do that every day or every week, depending on your finances. And uh, maybe eventually you can build up enough trust with the person that you can actually do something to help the person. Uh, I also was connected through Streets to Homes. Uh, they asked me where I pan, if I was uh, living off the streets, and I said, no, I'm not sleeping on the streets. I'm staying at Seaton House, and I still fought for them to help me uh, to see if they could try to get me some connections. So I fought with them to get me connected with John Howard and some to uh, help me with get a place and they did thank you now uh, the shelter that I was staying at like I said before uh, the housing worker that uh, is assigned to you they obviously don't help they just sit in their office do their work and uh, every now and then you have a meeting um, but for regarding uh, getting a housing listing from them and helping them helping you physically setting up a lot of stuff they don't because uh, they have a lot of clients obviously and uh, same with welfare they don't have time to sit there with a housing worker to actually help you in an office they just give you a list of uh, rentals which is no help to me because when I call I tell people that I'm homeless I'm in a shelter I'm staying on the streets or um, yes I do some drugs or I smoke weed stuff like that obviously you know like it's going to be hard to get a place i'm not saying lie but at least the more that you're actually honest of the rules and regulations of the house to, so that you're able to rent it and get in smoke your drugs outside stay away from the actual house itself go across the street find somewhere secluded do your drugs come back to the house respectfully if you're a drinker drink a little bit in the house but if it's not allowed Go to a public park where there's nobody around, no kids, nobody's around. Have a couple of drinks, enjoy yourself, you know. Kind of understand that people have rules and regulations. Just like when you left home and you're a kid, there's rules and regulations if you're finding a new place or couch surfing at a friend's place. There's people with dogs, which I kind of feel bad for, but there are some here that uh, in Toronto that actually are couch surfing at other friends' place that actually has a place um, that accept dogs. There's a few shelters that accept animals, a few shelters that, that are allowed male and female couples, kids, young. And uh, today is the 20th, Saturday of February. I am Shane Groves, and I'll... Uh, Hopefully catch up on the next video of an actual homeless person story. Peace out.